Amen. As we prepare to pray, it is both with sadness and in the confidence of our faith that we want to share with you about the death of two of our members, Susie Blakeman and George Kennedy. A service of witness to the resurrection in celebration of George's life will be held this Saturday, December 3rd at 10.30 a.m. in the chapel. This will be preceded by a calling in the parlor starting at 9.30 a.m. Please join us in keeping the Kennedy and Blakeman families in their loved ones in our hearts and minds as we turn to God in prayer. Let us pray. God of power and glory, we remember your awesome deeds across the ages, the times you sought us out and brought your people home. Yet we also confess times when we feel alone and afraid. Oh God, we are your people, the work of your hand. Let your face shine upon us, Lord, especially in the time of need. We pray for those who look to you for healing and hope who struggle each day to see beyond their present circumstances, those who are sick or recovering from illness and injury, those who are lonely and need companionship and care, those for whom the holidays bring sorrow or pain, those whose sadness overshadows joy. Let your face shine upon us, Lord, especially in the time of need. Lord, we pray for people in need of restoration and reconciliation, for those battling addictions, those in recovery, people estranged from those they love, for those in grief, for the family and loved ones of George Kennedy and Susie Blakeman. Lord, let your face shine upon us. Renew the spirit of a world grown weary with waiting and hoping. Lord, we pray for wars to end, for hunger and poverty to be crowded out by abundance, and we pray too, Lord, for your church, because we also at times grow weary in our waiting and watching for your power and glory to be made known and fill all things. Grant us, Lord, clarity, passion, and true fellowship so that we are awake to and filled with your presence. Let your face shine upon your church and all this weary world, we pray, in the name of the one born in a manger and coming again in glory. Hear us, Lord, as we pray the prayer which Jesus taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.